Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 22nd, 2021. So another big day of gap up and push. As we go back up here, we're trying to push toward these breakout levels in the indexes. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you all had a restful afternoon and evening and you're ready to get back to work here in the market. Let's take a look at some of these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today, trying to look at the price action and setting aside bias. Let's take a look here in the Dow chart. You can see in the Dow chart, we continue to this rally back up, gapping another day to the upside and pushing right into this downtrend break and this price resistance level in the chart. Now, the question that we're going to have to face today, and there could be some difficult decisions for traders and investors here, as we push toward these resistance highs, do we hold on hoping for a breakout or do we take some profits? Um, at this level and capture the gains just simply because we're so elevated off of these lows. Um, let's keep in mind just how far we have rallied in just those two days back and where we might be this morning. Yeah, I'm going to go to the Dow chart just to measure off of here and just realizing that we are up here um, over a thousand points in just a couple of days and run. Now that doesn't necessarily mean we can't go higher. We certainly can. What I'm just trying to point out is there may be some reason for a little bit of caution right here as we press these resistance levels in the chart and just realize that it is a place where we could see bears uh, potentially line up and defend. You know, that big a run, it's not out of the question to even be be considering taking some profits. So a little bit of profit taking could come into play. However, we have the other complication in this market, and that is we've got economic data that could move us around, and we have a bunch of earnings reports that certainly have that potential to push us through. And most of those earnings that have been coming out have been beat estimates and we seem to be pretty happy with what's going on with that. So could we push on through? Yes, we can, but consider your risk should we find some reason to stumble here in the chart. And just don't ignore, don't ignore resistance levels in the chart. We have to respect these levels. We have to be considering that we have rejected up here before and that these value evaluations on companies are still extremely lofty and that possibility that um, that bearish activity could come back in. Just remember how quickly sentiment shifted on Monday. It There's no reason to believe it can't continue to shift back and forth like that. So watch it close. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, SPY, better situation than the Dow with not, not quite so much resistance above, but we do have that complication um, right here as well. Well, we rallying back up into this area where we have that resistance of that trend break showing up. And then we have this price resistance of the highs trying to push up through those highs. Not nearly as strong as it is on the Dow. And largely that is because of big tech. Big tech continues to hold up pretty darn well despite all of the lawsuits and antitrust and negative talk coming from the White House on big tech. Um, kind of an interesting um, dilemma that we have to deal with. Um, plus we have big tech earnings coming just around the corner. And I think a lot of people are expecting really strong earnings from those companies. So interesting dilemma. And we've got some tough choices to make as we move forward. So 
just respect that price resistance level. If you've got really good profits, maybe consider taking some of that profit or consider hedging your trade with maybe some out of the money calls or something like that, um, covering those positions to protect yourself should that sentiment decide to shift. And the news this morning is just full. News reports are just full of all of the complications and problems of the pandemic from India recording, um, a, you know, a world high number in um, pandemic, despite all of their emergency relief, the, the mass mandates going back into place and, uh, around the country, um, all kinds of things starting to crop back up on this. So just kind of keep that stuff in mind. We could easily see those those bears suddenly care again about um, pandemic concerns. So watch that. Then let's take a look at the QQQ. Now the QQQ, very, very strong. Qs, um, this has been uh, remarkable. As a matter of fact, Apple, Microsoft, those companies just rebounding right back like Monday didn't even happen. And take a look here. We're up here trying to test the this downtrend uh, or this uptrend break as resistance. And once again, we'll be testing these resistance highs here within a moment or two. And that possibility that we could push right out and out to new record highs or that possibility that we could see a little bit of profit taking wave and we, we continue that rest up here. I also want to point out that we really have that possibility. This little head and shoulders top that's formed here um, or forming on this, if we were to see some sellers come in, just realize that that head and shoulders top could form right there. So we'll want to watch for that possibility. So although we're looking really, really good, we're just not out of the woods yet. And if we take a look at our IWM, now our IWM is a long ways from being recovered. Um, we have a massive amount of congestion right through the chart here, uh, keeping in mind that we are still below our 50 day moving average, the only index below this 50 day. And um, that, although we've surged back tremendously, um, we still have all of these resistance highs up here, even if we can get back up over the 50 where we continue to fail. So. Keep a close eye on that. It is that possibility that we could fail up here somewhere around that 50 day moving average, start pushing back down. And I still think there's a high probability IWM will see that 200 day moving average. So watch that closely. In fact, I would, I'm not gonna bet and I'm not gonna predict, but um, I think there is that possibility IWM can see that 200 day moving average before we see a new high in IWM. So watch for that carefully. Let's take a look at our T2122. Our T2122, interesting chart here in the sense that we have bounced right back. We've gone from an oversold condition to a nearly overbought condition and this morning's gap up could certainly put us in that overbought condition. So we surged all the way back really, really quickly here in the chart. And that may be justified with the good earnings reports and things like that, but we do wanna consider the lofty evaluations and that as we stretch up here, we run into those danger period places again where we have opened up big opportunity if we stumble in any way, shape or form, that big opportunity to um, swoon back toward that downside. And with the volatility that we've seen, I don't think anyone would be all that surprised to see if we do start to pull back, that pullback be rather painful, three, 400 points, maybe even more um, as we pull back, maybe even to the mid range of that, which would be a 500 point pullback um, in the Dow, just coming back to the center of that, um, that rally for the last two days. So kind of an interesting um, setup here and, and a rather dangerous setup um, overall for the market. So keep an eye on that. Then if we take a look at our T2101, interesting that market breadth yesterday as we were continuing to push, market breadth actually pulled back. We can't seem to break through on the buy wave. We, we, we seem to continue to struggle and struggle and struggle up here on that buy wave. Getting through those levels seems to be a little bit of a challenge for us right now. And uh, volumes yesterday were relatively light overall. So 
interesting things going on here. We want to see that breadth actually expanding on that buy wave. And so far, that's not the case. So watch that careful. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now, our VIX um, pulled back nicely. Whoops, that's a two day. We can't have a two day. There we go. Pulled back nicely here and we dipped just below our 50 day moving average here on the chart. Let's take a look at um, this. and chart without indicators and take a look at these support and resistance levels. So, so far we've done a really good job. We had this little trend break right here um, in the chart and we are still holding just slightly above that. So we'll want to watch this in this pullback. Remember this, this area right in here is where we, if the fear comes back in, where we could turn and start coming back up. Can't say that that's going to happen right now with the, with the bullishness that we see in the market. Um, it may not happen, but watch the, for that possibility. And, and I just want to remind everyone that it's, it's never, it never has been, if you look at big sell-offs in the market, it never ever has been where we, um, uh, spike up and just continue to run to the upside. We always get that resting pullback where we hold downtrends as support. That's how the big selling always occurs. So if we're over here and we hold this level, that possibility that fear comes in and that's where um, selling could come back into the market. So you just want to be thoughtful of that and be considering that carefully. Um, just don't be complacent is what I'm saying. Don't be complacent in thinking the market will never ever sell off because trust me, one day it will and it won't come back for a while. So watch that close. Um, we also have this longer term downtrend that um, I'd mentioned several times in the chart. We hit that as resistance and so far, we've had a very strong rejection of that level. So I'm gonna call that bullish for the market as well. Although we have this little bit of a caution or concern here that we could bounce off of this area, we just have, um, we have that bullishness here where we rejected that high. So that's good news. Let's take a look at our uh, T21, excuse me, let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar's got a couple things we're gonna want to consider this morning. Take a look over here, we've got jobless claims at 8.30 this morning, we know that that number can be a little bit contentious and we've had those times where the number came in not as good as expected and that created a little bit of volatility in the market. Can't tell you what's gonna happen today, we just have to watch and see. Um, if they can follow through with the bullishness with that number. And then also we've got existing home sales and just kind of keep in mind that that's been a little bit of a challenge area for the market here as well with uh, some of those housing uh, numbers pulling back, just costs going up so high, folks pulling back on um, that buying activity in housing, so watch that. We do have a natural gas report later today. I don't think anybody is gonna care. And um, when it comes to the Fed balance sheet down here at the end of the day, I don't think anybody's going to care about that either. As long as we keep printing, we keep loving the market. So debt doesn't matter anymore, at least at the moment, it doesn't matter. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar is a busy day. We have, this will be the busiest day this week, nearly 90 companies on the calendar um, several of those are unconfirmed reports, but we have quite a number of notables here this morning. So I can't cover them all, but what I do want to do is suggest to you guys to click that link right below the title of the video. Right below the title of the video, we have you can go back to the morning blog and you can um, pick up, you can pick up um, uh, that full list of notables for today um, so that you can stay on top of what's happening here um, on these earnings reports. So I'm going to cover just a few that here this morning. We're going to hear from um, Boston Beer. Sam Adams will report. This could be a critical report. Notice we've been in this ugly, ugly downtrend in the chart. If we can report well, maybe a pop through. If it fails, possibly more lows here in that chart. We're gonna hear from Crocs 
Um, we sure love these rubber shoes. Oh my goodness, look at here. It looks like they popped out um, really strongly here this morning on their earnings report, looking really good. Crocs, new record highs here in that um, retail stock. Watch that one close. We have some restaurants reporting. Uh, D, uh, DHI will be reporting today. It looks like we popped up into that downtrend resistance and we're seeing just a little teeny tiny bearishness coming in here this morning. Maybe a disappointment on that earnings report. Watch that. Uh, another restaurant chain, um, Taco Del Mar, will be reporting today. Looks like we have a little bit of a gap up trying to, to move this morning, but I can't tell you that that is a reflection of um, the report right now. It may just be a function of the bullishness of the market, so keep an eye on that. Um, we're going to have uh, copper, some copper reporting, FCX. Copper Miner will be reporting today. Watch that. We've been in this downtrend and actually very surprising that we've been in such a downtrend here considering the inflation and everything that's going on um, and uh, the hopefulness of uh, an infrastructure bill. We've been sliding here to the downside. So watch that closely as that reports. We'll hear from uh, Dow Chemical today. Looks like it's popping up a little bit. Looks like it wants to challenge its downtrend here in the chart. And a couple of the techs that we'll be hearing from today. We'll be hearing from Intel after the bell today, I believe. And we've got Twitter that will be in there for today. Plus a couple of, you know, there's Fifth Third Bank and a couple of things in there. Snap will be in there. So keep an eye on all of these. There's a lot of data coming our way on that earnings calendar. So how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And also, if you feel the video was worthy, please keep pushing those thumbs up buttons and keep leaving those comments. Remember, it's the engagement in the in the video that um, helps the algorithm to show these videos to more folks. And so I want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. I know it's a pain in the neck. I get it. But um, I truly, truly appreciate it. And it's helping the channel continue to grow. Um, so thank you so much. And then for those of you supporting the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link, uh, just a huge shout out to you guys. You, you're truly awesome. I, I really, really appreciate it. So with that, guys, how about we take a look at some of these stocks setting up and please keep in mind that they're, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence. These are just some ideas that I provide that may um, may have some potential for a watch list for you to kind of keep an eye on, but always make sure you're you're um, following your personal plan. And you understand the risk of all of these trades before you enter them. First off, let's take a look at some possible shorting setups. Even though we're really bullish here, guys, there are some patterns out there that are a little concerning, and I'm going to go to a moving average. Uh, chart here and let's take a look at um, XLF. Now XLF, our financial sector, we got a good bounce back here recently, but let's notice that our 50 day moving average, we are setting in this little rounding top here on that 50 day moving average. Now the question is going to become, can these financial stocks push on through? Um, it's going to be an interesting. That's still a major question here. We continue to see rejections as we reach up into that area. So watch this carefully. It could be a real telling sign for the market, whether or not we're going to push on through and get bullish, or if we're going to um, see those bears come back in and attack. It would be relatively rare to see the markets um, just rally, rally, rally without the financials. 
Um, it can happen, but it is relatively rare. So watch that closely as we approach this resistance up here and this 50 day moving average. If those banks were to start to slip and pull back, that could be a little bit of a concern here for the market. And um, there's quite a few of those charts out there. If you take a look at like, um, BAC, there certainly is no love here for Bank of America as it pushes back toward that price resistance. Um, I would say the same for Citibank. Um, definitely not much love here. Now, on the other hand, for some reason, we've got WFC back above its 50 day moving average. I don't know what it's what's inspired that. So we have this back and forth going on in that financial sector. Watch that closely. If we were to fail here, uh, keep an eye on that XLF. If we were to fail here, that could be interesting for the market. Also, let's take a look at energy. Energy has been struggling a lot here recently and um, pushing back, breaking its 50 day moving average and really falling toward that 200 day moving average pretty quickly. Notice that that 50 day has rolled over. So if we have financials and we have energy struggling here and struggling against resistance levels in their charts, that could be a little bit problematic. That makes it difficult for stocks to continue to to rally or indexes continue to rally if we don't have their participation um, in those moves can't say that we're going to fail just that we want to watch and pay attention to that now specific stocks that you might want to be looking at for some potential longs let's take a look at home depot I've been mentioning Home Depot as a possibility and Home Depot continues to just kind of creep along here. If we put some of my drawings up here on the chart, notice that we're holding this price support in this level and we did pop through that resistance, but we're still struggling here just a little bit trying to gain that momentum for that upside move. Just struggling in here just a little bit. So watch that closely. If we can find that inspiration in here, we might be able to push on through. Keep in, uh, in mind that this is gonna report on 817 and um, we oftentimes will see stocks rally toward their earnings reports here recently. There's a whole lot of anticipation about earnings and we just jump in and rally, rally, rally up toward earnings. So watch that closely, that could start at any time in this chart. Um, we might also wanna be taking a look at um, some of the COVID um, stocks, they have surged back tremendously here the last few days. And notice that we've pushed up here in Peloton and we're resting right above this support level. So that price support we pushed through and now we're resting right in here. I would watch this for that next possible opportunity that we could gain that bullishness in here and surge on higher. Um, so keep a close eye on that. We're seeing a lot of these um, stocks have surged back nicely and um, showing some strength here. So if we can hold that support, Hey, there may be some upside, keep in mind, reports on 9.9. And um, so there's every reason to believe this could remain strong, uh, particularly with those COVID numbers coming up. Take a look at Chewy. Chewy also doing the same thing. We pushed back above some price resistance in the chart, pushed back up through this area right here. And notice we're just kind of resting. Now we still have some upside resistance in this chart to deal with. And there is that possibility, I wanna point this out, that this could set up kind of a head and shoulders topping pattern. But if we can hold this higher low up here and find that inspiration, there is every reason to believe we could push on through on Chewy. So keep a close eye on that. It's looking pretty darn good. Um, one of the banks that you might want to be keeping an eye on is Alley Financial. Now Alley zoomed back up and what I like about this chart, notice we broke back above our 50 day moving average here and if this can continue to hold up in this area, if we can rest or consolidate breaking through this price resistance in the chart. If we can hold up here, maybe take a little bit of pause, a little bit of break, we could see that opportunity where that could push on through. So might be worth having something like that on your list, watching that closely for that possibility. Um, you might wanna take a look at DKNG. Now this 
has suffered a lot here recently, but I want to point out this possibility where we have bottomed and then a little higher bottom right here in this chart. Now we're pushing up into a downtrend and I never want to buy right at the downtrend. As a matter of fact, I consider that one of the highest risk trades that you can make. Um, in the market. What I want to see is this actually pop through. If that can pop through and hold up here, then I have an opportunity in that trade. But it's worth having on your list, even if this were to fail in this area, let's keep in mind the DKNG could fail right here at its 50 day moving average. And that is a potential short. So on both sides of this, we could have a potential trade. We want to watch that carefully. If we fail here, we may have that potential short. If we can push through, we may have that potential long if we can hold those levels up there. So keep a close eye on charts like that. Um, lots going on there. I have to also mention, um, even though these are coming into some earnings, you really need to be keeping an eye on some of the big techs. Um, it, it's kind of remarkable to me that um, they are this strong with their evaluations um, so high. Um, their P and E ratios are ridiculously high at this point, but we continue to just push. There doesn't seem to be any concern about that. So keep an eye on Microsoft, Apple. They're looking really, really good. Google, um, despite, you know, what is it? Uh, 46, 47 states filing lawsuits against Google. We don't care. Um, we just want to buy. So um, keep an eye on that. These, um, a lot of these big techs are very, very strong still and could have some upside opportunity. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Sorry, this video got a little bit long. I wish you all the very, very best. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one, everyone.